Keep the stress going for Kelly Robinson! How many of you, by applause, want that? And here's the kicker. It doesn't make any difference whether it's real or fake. Seriously. So here's the deal. It's, it uh, releases endorphins. So if at any point in this uh, act tonight you think it's not that funny, fake it. It's good for you. And I, if I think you've forgotten, I'll slap my leg and that'll remind you to kick it up a level. You got it? Let's try it. Okay. You got it. When Johnny asked me to come and do this show, he said, this is an all-female show. Yes, I qualify. I'm all-female. God gave me all the right equipment and I'm keeping it. What's wrong? Fight me, Caitlin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I almost didn't come tonight because I've been having trouble with my eyes. I thought I was going blind because in my mind's eye, I see myself as a smoking hot 35-year-old. Yeah. Did you laugh at that, sir? What's your name, sir? What is my name, Rachel? <laughs> oh my gosh, he needs help from his wife. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Yes. And how old is that body that you're carrying around? <laughs> 70. And in your mind, how old do you think it is? Seven. Seven. <laughs> See, we're all delusional. <laughs> and it's pretty hard to keep up the illusion if the skin on the back of your arm looks like a half-deflated water balloon. <laughs> Just saying. If you're under 50, you go on a diet, your skin comes with you. If you're over 50, your skin becomes a wrinkled overcoat. I'm telling you, it's the truth. I went on a diet, now look at me. I'm a perfect 10, wearing a size 18 skin. I have enough skin left over, I could build a small child. And I don't want one. <laughs> the other day I looked down at my elbow, I thought I had a prune stuck to it. <laughs> I went to push up my sleeves and discovered I didn't even have on a shirt. <laughs> So I went to one of those liquid tanning uh, booths. And what you do is you strip down completely naked. You go in there and you squat down as far as you can. And then you hold your arms up as high as you can. And then someone comes in with a spray thing and they spray you all over. Well, evidently, I didn't squat down enough. Because every time I cross my legs, my knees look like happy faces with triple chins. <laughs> And then I had these other two happy faces. <laughs> you know, you can only raise your hands so high. <laughs> yeah, all I want to do is stay young and all I get is, hey lady, you want to use your senior discount card? <laughs> now that is a rude supposition right there. And I do young stuff. Seriously, I mean, I text. <laughs> The other day I texted my husband and I said, uh, I'll be home in just a few, I'll be there in just a few minutes. You want to make a little whoopee? Accidentally sent it to the pastor. <laughs> and evidently he's on a group mail with half the church. I think we've been 
been excommunicated. <laughs> yeah. And oh, and tattoos. I got tattoos. You you want to see them? <laughs> you want to see them in action? <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Tattoos are crazy, you know, I, for old people, forget that. I, I just, uh, after I overcame cancer, I decided I'm going to do all kinds of fun stuff in my life. And I took up go-kart racing, and uh, I love it. But the only hard part is getting out of the cart. But I've got it figured out now. If you take a firm grip on the steering wheel and just kind of relax, it takes six or seven of those young guys to pry you loose. <laughs> yeah. I took up trap shooting with my husband, and I was a terrible shot, and he kept saying, you know, what are you doing? Are you blind? Can't you see? Gentlemen, never yell at a woman who has hot flashes and a loaded shotgun. <laughs> Especially if she's the beneficiary on your life insurance policy. <laughs> Then I signed up for three triathlons. You know, they come out and uh, at the beginning with a big black marker, and they mark your age and your gender on the back of your calves so they know what category you're in. Uh, so mine would be like 72F. Now, I don't know what they would mark on Caitlin's calves. <laughs> Think about that. Anyway, and in the biking, the cycling, I passed, I actually passed a girl that was just about 35 years old. Woo! Uh, she had a flat tire. <laughs> actually, she had walked her bike eight miles and I finally caught up with her. Uh, but the swimming was really my worry because I was swimming in those uh, bike shorts and they have those built-in butt cushions. And I didn't know how they would behave in the swimming pool. Would they become flotation devices? Just float my rear end right up to the surface? Or would they become like a sponge and take on water and take me down? But you know what? I came in first place. In my age category. Okay, I was the only one in my age category. But, uh, you know, I went from that to, uh, I took surfing lessons, and uh, that was a blast, except it was a complete wipeout for me because I couldn't stand up on the board. There's that thing called the pop, where you are coming in on a crashing wave, and all of a sudden you have to go from your stomach to a stance like this, all in one smooth move. I have not had a smooth move in 38 years. <laughs> you know, that Groupon is going to kill me, and I, I just can't resist signing up for everything. The other day, I almost signed up for trapeze, except it conflicted with my pole dancing lessons. <laughs> and that comes right before my Bible study. <laughs> I hope I don't ever get those two confused. <laughs> but you know, here's the way I figure. A pole dancer who knows her scripture, now there is the total package. <laughs> Just saying. And you know what? Uh, learning scripture is exactly like pole dancing. You've stopped to think about it. It's a struggle at first, but if you hang in there, you'll never lose your grip. <laughs> One more time. Okay, you got it. Yeah, well, I'm telling you, I don't even like to tell people that I took pole dancing lessons because immediately they say, well, what were you going to do? Go be a stripper? Ugh, are you kidding? That would be like Mother Teresa doing the twerk. <laughs> kind of makes you eyes bleed just to think about it. <laughs> if you had seen me, you would have said, now why didn't she take trapeze? <laughs> and my, my uh, classmates were all like the age of my grandkids. For and I could hear them talking behind my back. One of them says, hey, get a load of grandma. 
Is she going to try that with smock and orthopedic shoes? <laughs> well, okay, my pole was the only one with a drop-down oxygen mask <laughs> and grab bars and an orthopedic surgeon by my side. I think there was a hospice rep out in the car, just in case things went south. You know, I just kept thinking, I'm going to kill myself here. And I can just see the obituary. Karen Trixie Robertson, found dead at Pole Palooza, hanging upside down, loving mother, grandmother, and Bible teacher. Something about that just didn't sound right. You know? But I, you know, I was willing to hang in there, pun intended, until the teacher says, we're going to have a recital and you can invite all your friends and family. <laughs> no, we won't. I could just see my grandkids saying, get the video camera. Gabby's going to hang upside down. No way. I was just as likely to hang 10 on that surfboard. But I will tell you that no matter where I hang out, on the back of my calves, I'm always going to see SHF 35, smoking hot female, 35. <laughs>